Mina presents a new paradigm in Web3. As a ZK native ledger, it presents opportunities to both developers and end users. Mina uses a very compact ledger design with just 256 bytes per contract. This actually encourages applications to live off-chain. And we can do that thanks to Mina's computational integrity. It's a bit of a paradigm shift, building applications that can live off-chain, optimized for user behaviors and user interactions. The key is that Mina makes it easy to prove facts about public and private data. And this opens up a world of possibilities for new applications that are private, decentralized, and scalable. Before we talk about Mina, it's important to understand the limitations of many blockchains. So now that we understand a little bit about Mina's layer one, let's talk about what the traditional approach is. Imagine a gigantic computer floating in the sky that anyone can access. That's like many blockchains today. The issue with that is that in order for us to all share the same view of that chain, we must all replay a transaction, which is slow, inefficient, and costly. Another key limitation is block space. And block space is the real estate of blockchain. It's your ability to commit operations and state to the ledger. The problem is block space isn't very flexible. Although upgrading systems is possible, there can be inefficiencies in these upgrades that introduce huge cost burdens to developers. Without the flexibility to customize systems to specific problems, this means complexity is passed down to the end user with high transaction fees, network congestion, and poor user experiences, amongst other issues that they shouldn't have to worry about. Lucky for us, there's a way to get around all of these complexities, and it also means that you don't have to learn a new programming language. Stay tuned to see what I mean. Mina makes it easy to scale without increasing system complexity, and it does so by doing two things. Number one, provable computation. Number two, a powerful verification system. Mina is a ZK native blockchain from the ground up, and this means that Mina uses zero knowledge proofs for efficient and cost-effective data computation and verification. With zero knowledge proofs, developers and users can perform unlimited off-chain computation and the resulting proof can be verified for a flat, low transaction fee. Instead of redoing computation, one computer can use mathematics to prove that it computed correctly. And given computational integrity, anyone can take that proof and verify it efficiently. This makes Mina more decentralized and secure. This gives developers flexibility to build custom applications that are tailored to end user needs with a rich feature set. This is a game changer for scale, and it means that Mina and its applications can scale horizontally to handle billions of users with ease. ZK apps are more than just smart contracts. And now that we understand Mina's model of moving computation off chain, let's dig into what this means a little more. But before we understand what a ZK app truly is, we've got to understand what a ZK VM is too. A ZK VM is just a ZK circuit, perhaps a really large one or a collection of many ZK circuits. In its entirety, a ZK VM is just another provable program that executes with a verifiable proof. And these circuits or ZK VMs are fully customizable, meaning that you can develop them specifically for your application and end users needs. They fit almost like Lego blocks onto Mina's layer one and with each other. And that really embodies Mina's interoperable and composable ethos. To make things even smoother, these circuits or ZKVMs are written in TypeScript, which means that you can embed them in any TypeScript code base. Now, what do ZKVMs have to do with ZK apps? A ZK app is made up of at least two core components, a smart contract and a ZKVM. Developers often constrain their ZK app by only accessing state that's available or immutable on the layer one. And this can limit functionality. Instead of constraining a ZK app to only the state available on the layer one, what MENA developers can do is use ZK VMs to move that application logic and state off chain. It means that they get the best utilization of MENA's block space flexibility while having a succinct contract as the interface for constraining those state transitions. So Mina presents a fantastic developer experience without gas fees or limits on computation. ZK app developers can build custom circuits and ZK VMs that act as composable modules to meet their application requirements and end user needs. And these ZK apps are horizontally almost infinitely scalable. All the while, the computation is verifiable thanks to the computational integrity 
that zero knowledge cryptography gives us. Understanding the potential and deeper inner workings of ZK apps on Mina really helps you get into that Mina mindset so that you can implement zero knowledge features in your applications. The possibilities for ZK apps on Mina are truly endless. And this is thanks to the composable and interoperable building blocks that Mina allows you to develop. So what are you waiting for? Come and join the Mina community.